Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see about uh, creating domains in Amazon SageMaker. So that will be useful for uh, working with Amazon SageMaker Studio. So I already logged in with the Amazon console. So here, just search for Amazon SageMaker. So it's a SageMaker. So this one, just click on this Amazon SageMaker. And this is the page of Amazon SageMaker. And we are going to work with the studio. So if you want to work with the studio, you have to create a domain first. So if you want to work with the Amazon SageMaker, it's very much to create the domain. So for creating the domain, just uh, click on this domains in your website. So, and then uh, it will ask you for create domain. I didn't create any domains till now. So just click on this create domain option to create a new domain. And then you'll get a new tab like this, you know, uh, set up for single user and set up for organization. If you're looking for a single user, you can go with this setup for single user. If you want to do it for organizations, you can uh, click on this option and you can create a new domain. So set up for single user, you can see new IAM rule with Amazon SageMaker policy that will be created and then public internet access and standard encryption, and then SageMaker Studio. You can access the SageMaker Studio, uh, new and SageMaker Studio classic integrations, and shareable SageMaker Studio notebooks. That is also possible. These are the permissions you'll get when you create this domain. So SageMaker Canvas and then IAM authentication. So I'm clicking on setup. So it will take few minutes to set it up. I'm coming back here for the domains, you know. Uh, see, once the domain is created, it will show you the users. So by default, it will create some user ID and you can edit it later. Let me show you that. So in domains, you can find the status is still pending. So it will take few minutes for creating the domain. And after that, if we click on this domain, you can able to see the users that is uh, created by the SageMaker by default will create a user. And if you want to make some editings with the user, you can do it after the user is created. So coming back to the domains and we'll wait for a few minutes to complete it. So now the domain is created. So you can clearly see status in service and just click on this domain name. And also you can clearly see that user is also loading. So the user is also created, you know, the user is also created. Uh, if you want to do any editing, you can click on this username. And after that, you can go to this edit option. And you can edit it based on your requirement. Thank you, everyone.